This is a video to demonstrate a design flow in the Big Tree Tech TMC2209 version 1.1 step stick drivers. Specifically, the standalone operation of this driver in spread cycle mode. This is one of the features that was added to the 2209 that was absent in 2208. It's uh, jumper selection to switch between Stealth Chop 2 and Spread Cycle. Another upgrade that was done in 2209 is increased current. So we're going from a 1.2 amps per phase to 2.0, 2.8 at the max current. So this RMS, so it's pretty high current driver. So it's a, it's a valuable upgrade in certain conditions when you are not able to run a new art. Uh, standalone operation is valuable and spread cycle gives you the highest torque capability at higher higher speeds so we'll take a look at uh, this modification as specified by Big Tree Tech in their manual as you can see on the screen that's the change from stealth chop to spread cycle the chip by default comes in stealth chop so let's take a look at it under the microscope real quick so we can see that it is in fact this is the chip in its initial what it looks like initially spread pin is in this position that's stealth chop operation so we're going to go ahead and uh, Uh, plug that in into my little test setup here. So don't mind some things I have here on the table. It's just so I can get things operation, the things in a one view and one shot kind of uh, deal. So this is a little test setup. It's an old smoothieware board, but uh, what's nice about it is that you can plug in an expansion module like this, add a step stick and get an additional axis or override X axis like I'm doing here. So all this is, it's um, going to be running this chip in supposedly spread cycle. Well, in, in stealth chop, I'm sorry, this is the stock chip. And we're going to run this in stealth chop and 16 micro stepping. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. No smoke, everything's fine. Make sure that Simplify 3D recognizes the chip. Just take, take uh, the recognize the board. Okay, so it bunged, means it found it. Can connect to it gonna go ahead and move and you can see the stepper moves fine so that's the fault that's that's no fun that's not what the video is about the video is about trying to get this to run in spread cycle so let's take a look. This is the modification as per instructions. We'll plug that back in into the board. Make sure we have all the everything oriented position correctly. Direction goes on top. All the pins are securely in. Or as securely as I can get them. This is a test setup anyway, so so Turn that turn on the power supply. <laughs> Give the board a second to initialize. Well there should be a second bong when it um, when it actually finds it. There it is it is. Com six, connect. 
No, this is actually very warm. So that's that's well, that doesn't do anything. So I'm going to turn that off. So that doesn't work. So let's compare that. We have we had a pin pop loose as I was removing that. Everything was in place. I just like I said, it's a test setup. So I'm gonna put that pin back in place. So we're gonna take um, this is a water rod, 2209. It's a little out of focus, but that's what that is. We're gonna go ahead and plug that into this test rig. And it has little jumpers right here, or little dip switches, which is equivalent to setting this in 16 micro stepping and setting that third dip switch up. That's what I just did. That sets it into spread cycle. So I'm turn that back on. I should get the second long one once the board fully initializes. Okay, got that. Connect that up. Connected. Let's move. We're moving. And uh, the microphone is not picking it up. This is a very this is a pretty directional mic, so I have to kind of talk directly into it. Um, this is in spread cycle. You can actually hear the motor making noise here. So that's working fine. Can go ahead and unplug that. Now, so what exactly is happening here? So let's take a look on the microscope. And hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate Hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate where the pins and where where the pins are going here. And you can see the multimeter here on the screen. And go ahead and uh, probe this point. That's spread pin. Okay. The inner pin should be ground. So that should be, we should be able to find that. We found that. Okay. So this pin, the outside pin, should be voltage, which is this pin. It isn't. But from testing this, it's this pin. What is that pin? Let's just see. I think I moved out a little bit. So, right there. I'm getting continuity right here. Okay. So what is that pin? <laughs> That's actually the five volt out regulator of the TMC2209. That's actually, it's obviously an easier run to make. And as opposed to going all the way across to this pin right there, which is 
or you can take it from this cap right here C2 which is which is where you're going to get the 3.3 volts if that's why you're feeding the chip as you can see this this board has a bunch of flux as I've been uh, uh, cleaning it up and etc and uh, I had uh, done some testing with it so how how what are, what are the ways to fix it so one way is this you could run a jumper from what we had seen was a spread pin to the to this pin which is what the trinamic pin the the, the the big tree tech is using for the UART this essentially makes this um, big tree tech 2209 uh, electro electrically identical to the um, water rod version but that's not what big tree tech intended so what are the other options let's take a look another option is this You could run a jumper from spread pin. That's the that's the pad for the spread. To over here, which is the pad for the 3.3 volts or 5 volts, whatever it is that you're powering your board with. That's what they intended. And if this outside pin wasn't taking the 5 volts out of the, the the chip itself but was jumpered over there this will be fine this is what they intended to do but that's not what's going on so what is this what does this mean in terms of and why was in terms of usability of the big tree tech um, TMC2209. So why was this done then? This was done for the benefit of this board. Let's see if I can get a better focus on it. Come on. Yeah, all right. That's the SKR 1.3. The SKR 1.3 can be connected to the Big Tree Tech 2209s with no external wire jumpers as you would uh, have to do with other with other boards. That's obviously not very nice. But there really is no reason to make this design modification and deviate from the water rod standard because the water rod chips can also be used, water rod PCBs can also be used on the SK1.3 with a very simple jumper. Right there. It's a vertical jumper. The jumper is pin 3 to pin 4. And if you solder the UART pin on the water rod PCB to pin 4 and don't connect the spread pin you can use SKR board with no additional external wires of course you'd put on your UART jumper right there Right there, right there. Water rod PCBs can be used with this board is just as easily. So there really is no functional explanation why these PCBs were done the way they were done, 
all it requires is addition, some, some additional instructions to make them function properly, to make them compatible, to not deviate from the water rod design. But even if you do deviate from the water rod design, so that you don't need this vertical jumper on the SKR13, right there, you don't, this, the vertical jumper that, that I have here. Um, maybe I can show this under the microscope a little bit better. Let's see, scope, let's see. So you have this vertical jumper, and you have this UR jumper. That's all that is necessary to make this board work with the water rod chips. The, but why do this redesign? Big Tree Tech told me that this redesign was done to make their 2209s more compatible, not require this vertical jumper. I'm not sure, but um, maybe pin for pin compatible with the 2208s. It is, in fact, because 2208 does not have a config pin 3. Um, not quite clear, but if you, let's go back to the microscope again. If you simply had made this pad connect to this pad then this jumper right there would have worked fine. Then this manual makes sense. This manual would work. Under current PCB layout, as I demonstrated, it doesn't. Now, if you used a 5-volt um ramps maybe on um AT mega chip 8 bit board it's possible that it would work it's likely that it would work because you're using 5 volt power to power the TMC 2209 I didn't test that um, I have RAM. I have a ramps nearby. I have a. I have an Arduino that I could test that on, but that's not the configuration that I'm looking at, and that's not what I'm trying to actually get to work. I'm actually using this as expansions to 32-bit boards where I don't have. I can't connect UART to. So, in those cases standalone operation is preferred or only option in those cases um, spread cycle is preferred because I'm trying to achieve the, uh, the achieve the highest torque possible hence the upgrade from 2100s to 2209s so this is just a kind of a uh, instructional video uh, for folks who want to use this chip in a similar configuration and also a demonstration to Big Tree Tech whose techs keep insisting that this works. This does not work. The chip hits up, does not cause permanent damage because I don't let it, I don't keep it on. I turn it off, but it doesn't work. So that's it.